Good evening. Hello, good evening, Jackie, Janari, Brenda, and Gustavo. How good are you feeling sir? today? Hello, good evening. Did you have a good day today? Yes, no. Excuse me, teacher. I'm going to turn on my camera in some minutes. Just I'm going to finish my dinner. Okay. Excellent. No problem. Me also, teacher. I'm, I've been almost finished my dinner. Teacher. Okay. Okay. Bon appetit. Merci beaucoup. Okay, so Rolanda is coming, Fabio is coming. I think this is Freddy's. Can you hear me well? Good evening. Good evening. Um, yes, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. Thank you. I have had a, I, I mean, I have had a song in my mind all day long. Has it ever happened to you that you cannot get a song out of your head, out of your, <laughs> and it's going over and over and over, like the 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 curves of the song, right? Uh, sometimes it happens a lot <laughs> and sometimes it's not even a good sound but <laughs> is there <laughs> like perreo music right um, <laughs> or banda that is very popular now what is a song in english that you have had stuck in your mind that it's been in your head for for a day or something like that In my case, the song that I have had in my mind today is, uh, it's been going on in my mind is, you've got a friend. I don't know if you have heard that. It's a classic one. No, it's not that one, Diana. <laughs> Hi, Diana, good to see you. Always smiling and full of energy. Which one were you thinking of? That was the, the Toy Story song. That you got ah, a friend in me. <laughs> uh -huh, you got a friend in me. No, it's not that one. It's kind of similar, but it's... Um, I don't remember the name of this singer. It's a woman. Um, I'll tell you the name. You've got a friend, it's Carol, Carol King, Carol King. So um, it, it goes like, you just call out my name and you know wherever I, and then it, I am, I will come to you to see you again. And then it says winter, spring, summer, fall. All you have to do is call and I'll be there. You've got a friend. Yeah, it's really nice. I will share the link with you through the chat. If there is a song in English that you like a lot, that you think is really nice or beautiful and everybody should listen to it, you can do the same thing. You can share the link through the chat so your classes can see it later. Um, so you can take a look at that one. So I've had that song going on in my mind and it's strange because I... I don't, I don't think I heard the song. I just remember it. Um, or no, hold on. I think I heard it yesterday when I was driving. Yeah, it was on the radio. Okay. So if there's a song in English that you like a lot and you think that it's a nice song and people should listen to it, 
share it, okay? Maybe not now, uh, you can do it later when the majority of your classmates are here so they can also access the link. Because when you enter the chat, you can, I mean the call, you cannot see the previous chats, the previous messages. Um, hello, Harbin, Roxana, Miguel, and Blanca, hello, Good evening. Elizabeth, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Teachers. Hi, how are you doing? Good teacher. Good. Do you have dinner yet? Yeah. Okay. I just finished it about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I was in a rush today. I don't like eating fast, to be honest, but I had to because there was a lot of traffic. Okay, Rolando is working. Oh yeah, close to you. That song is, yeah, beautiful. And another one that is similar to that one that I, I like, it's um, Happy Together. It's an old song similar to the Close to You. Yeah, Happy Together. Um, okay, so we're going to continue. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do is to check who's here and who's not. Okay, who has been punctual to the class and who's still absent, maybe because they are driving, they are eating, or they're working, right? So there are many reasons why my students don't join the class on time sometimes, okay? But it's usually a justified reason, okay? I know you're responsible and punctual. Okay, so now I see Diana, I see Jackie, Roxana, and Freddy's on the, on the screen. Hello guys, remember that today we have the group picture, right? So I hope that you're, you're ready for that at the end of the class. Okay, Harvey, good to see you. Thank you, teacher. Today I'm wearing my favorite uh, color in shirts. That would be blue. Because there are differences between the colors that you like and the colors that you like to wear, right? Because sometimes you like to wear some colors, but you don't usually like those colors in other things. Uh, mm -hmm. But in my case, yeah, I like blue and green, but for clothes, I don't like green too much. I prefer blue, gray or black. Yeah, I don't know why I have a lot of gray shirts. Okay. Now we're going to continue and Brenda, long time no see. Rolando has been confusing you with Blanca because, because you haven't <laughs> been turning on your camera. I know, sorry. Yeah, he's been suffering a little bit of bullying from-, from I have my Korean everybody. guy, that's impossible. You have your what? Your Korean guy. No, I mean, yeah, when Brenda doesn't impossible. turn on the camera and Rolando gets confused. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Okay, I got the list here. We're going to start with Beatriz Valencia. Are you here? Not yet. Okay, so today is Wednesday, September 1st. Finally, September. From now on, everything is celebration, right? So <laughs> It's officially the, the holiday season in El Salvador. Well, actually since August, right? In San Salvador, there's a lot of celebration. So let's go on. Um, I don't know if the promotions of the donuts are, is going to be available this month, but that's what people wait for. 
<laughs> Let's go on. Uh, Beatriz is not here, so we continue with Mariela. Nope. Blanca. I'm here. Okay. Brenda. Diana. Present. Diego is not here. Floor. I'm here. Excellent. Francisco. Not yet. Okay, Freddy's. I'm here. Laura. Jackie. Present. Arvin. I am here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. I am here. Gustavo. Yes, I'm here. Okay, then we continue with Miguel. Present. Fabio. I'm here. Rolando. It, he told me that he was working. Uh, Yanari. I'm here. Nice. Uh, Roxana. Present teacher. Elizabeth. And we're ready to start. Okay, guys, so today is Wednesday. That means that today is writing and reading Wednesday. So we're going to practice any of the two skills or probably the two skills, depending on how much time we have at the end of the session. Okay, so we're going to get started by trying to remember a little bit about yesterday. Yesterday, we did different things. Do you remember what the topic was about? What the activities were about? What we were doing? About indirect questions. Okay, How we started in a polite way. Yes, that's right. We started a little bit about indirect questions. Uh, new, new vocabulary. New vocabulary about what? For example, the product line. The product line, correct. Anything else that you remember? A conversation and introduce to the, the conversation it was about the product yeah, types. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, correct. So yes, that's what we were doing. And uh, something that I forgot to mention is the finalists, okay, for the spelling bee. So we're going to have the final this coming Friday. It's going to be with the same list, with the same list of vocabulary, okay? But obviously we're going to have more rounds, okay? With the five finalists. Let me check. The finalists are, ten, 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 ten. these are the people that got the, the two points, right? In the, in the previous um, spelling. And they were Beatriz, Diana, Flor, Freddy's, and Janari. So round of applause for them. Okay, you can use the reactions. Now, that's going to be interesting, right? Well, what's going to happen this coming Friday? Okay, so let's get started. Um, yeah, that's what we started yesterday. I'm going to, to show you right specifically the page that where you can find the, the exercise that we were working on. Here it is. So we were working on the page number 29 and also on page 28. Okay, we finished with the conversation, we finished with the questions. Uh, let me share the screen with you. Right here. Okay, so we finished the conversation, as you remember, that was about the three managers. 
who were in a meeting discussing the process, the production process of a new shampoo, right? Some of the new words or the words that we pay attention to the pronunciation of were, okay, I'm going to highlight the word and you tell me the pronunciation. How do you pronounce this word? Production. 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 Very good. Production. How do you pronounce this word? Analysis. 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 Correct. How do you pronounce this one? Revise. 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 This one? Verify. 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 Correct. This one? Producing. 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 That's correct. Producing. And what about this one? Repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it. That's right. Repeat it. And the other word, hold on, I'm going to move this bar. Okay. The other word uh, was this one right here. Clarify. 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 Okay. Clarify. And uh, this. Mine. 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 Right. Mine. Would you mind telling us? Okay. Uh, the the cost to run a second quality control uh, will go very high. If right. If the cost. Okay. And basically that's it. Right. So uh, those were the most important words that we studied received that was another word that we studied at the beginning right and that's it uh, once what is the meaning of once no translation what is the meaning of once one time Teaching something or something one, like that one time that is the meaning one time so for example how often do you go to the gym during the week and you say oh, i go to a gym just once once a week one time okay how do you say twice two times? Twice. 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 Okay. And even if you want to say three times, it's possible to say thrice, but it's not so common. Okay. Um, so once and twice, right? How often do you, for example, uh, visit your relatives during the month? And you never. say, never. Okay. <laughs> because of the <laughs> pandemic, never. Okay. So good. Uh, how often do you study English? during the day once a day when we, once have, a day. The, when we have the class teacher <laughs> okay once a month <laughs> once a month that's not good let me check i'm going to move on that was the conversation and um we discuss also the question right about the quality control if uh, if in your company you you manufacture right something or if the process is uh, uh, updated frequently so how to use the indirect questions what are the two characteristics that i told you to consider about the indirect questions wait a second uh huh Using morals and is polite. Okay, it is polite, right? It's more polite than the direct questions. And the order of the words is different. So I am going to mention some examples and you tell me if it is a direct or indirect question, okay? Could you tell me what time it is? Is that direct in, or indirect, indirect question? Indirect. 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 Very good. Uh, excuse me. Where do you live? Direct. It's a direct question. I wonder where the supermarket is. Indirect. 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 Uh, can you tell me what your last name is, please? Indirect. 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 Who is she? Direct. 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 I was wondering if you would like to go with me to the movies on the weekend. Indirect. 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 Could you go with me to the movies on the weekend? Indirect. Could you Direct. go with Direct. me? 
is direct, okay? Direct. Direct. Could you go with me to the movies on the weekend? Okay. And then um, that's what we were studying, right? Uh, are you my student? Direct or direct. indirect? Direct. 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 Yes. Direct. direct. Okay, you think so. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> do you have any idea about who the new teacher is? Indirect. 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 Okay. So that's basically the way that we structure, right? A direct or indirect question. So the order of the words changes when we use the indirect questions. And also, uh, it is more polite, okay? It is more, let's say, it's, um, yeah, it's polite, that's the word. Uh, it's more polite than direct questions. So, uh, we studied the, the explanations, right? The examples. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my throat since yesterday, but I will survive. So you did the exercises. Well, we did the exercises because I was working with you. Number one, two, and three. Exercise number five, sentences one, two, and three. And you were going to share or to complete four, five, and six by yourselves, okay? So now I need three volunteers to tell us the answers for these three sentences. So raise your hand, please, so you can share with us. What do you share with us, Freddie? That's how we work. And that's how we do a quality control. That's how Fusan ah. is. Okay, okay, excellent. Thank you for sharing. So uh, I need three volunteers to tell us the, the sentences four, five, and six. These are questions that you were going to write in the indirect way. So raise your hand or use a reaction or just activate your microphone and say the sentence. Okay, Yanari, the first one. Thank you. You can go with number four, five or six. You choose which one you want to do. Yanari? Um, number one. No. I will try. Four, five, or six. Oh, okay. Okay. Five. Okay, go ahead. Do you have any in any idea if will we go for the small batch or mass production? Okay, it's almost correct. There is just one word that you have to change position of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it again. We will, we will go for a small batch. Uh -huh. Sorry. So say it completely, please. No, don't, don't say sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you have any idea if we will go for a small batch or mass production? <laughs> Correct. Okay, class for Janati, good job. Do you have any idea if we will go for a small batch or mass production? Okay, that's the way it is. So I want to write it down here so that everybody can see it. Do you have any idea if we will, right? So we change the position of the two words because it's indirect. So the subject goes first and the verb goes second. We will go for a small batch or mass production. And we use a question mark, yes or no? Do we use a question mark in this example? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. There you go. So let's go with number six or number four. Volunteers. Yes. 
Beatriz, thank you. Remember, you are trying, you are learning. So if you try and make okay. a mistake, you learn. If you try and you say it well, you learn. So anyways, okay. you learn, right? Go ahead. Okay. Which one are you going to say? Five. Five. No, but no, you have six. Five. Six. Okay. Six. I was wondering if you received the quap of the raw material providers. Okay, that's a good example. Pay attention to what um, Beatriz did in this case. I was wondering if you received it. in the past. Yes. Why did she change the did she change the verb to the past? Because the auxiliary is in past. Correct, because the auxiliary did is in the past. And we don't use the auxiliaries in um do did right in the in the indirect question. So we eliminate them and we use the verb in the appropriate tense. I was wondering if you received the quote. The question is in the past, so the verb has to go in the past. And it is a sentence, right? If you receive the quotes of the raw materials, is the, do we need a, um, a period or a comma or a question mark, sorry? Providers. Period. Period. Yes. Do you agree with Beatriz that we need a period and not a question mark? Yes or no? Jackie says thumbs up. That's a yes, I suppose. Miguel, what do you think about that? Is that correct? I agree with uh, Beatriz. Okay, perfect. I agree too. So yes, this is correct. Thank you so much. Don't forget to use the reactions for your classmates, right? All of you are learning, so try to do it. Try to practice, try to challenge yourself, right? Be a little bit exposed because in the end, that is the purpose of learning a language, to use it and communicate with people. Making mistakes is part of the process, it's normal. Even the gringos make mistakes. So how come we're not going to make mistakes? And they don't care about mistakes. <laughs> they just want to communicate with you. So um, number four, I like to find out, does the operation plan describe the process parameters? Let's do this together. I'm going to start by writing the phrase. I'd like to find out if, if yes, is the doll. If the operation, operation plan operation plan is tied to the process. Okay. Are we going to make any modification to the verb describe? Yes, it's in third person. It's in the simple present. We yes. are talking about a plan that is it, right? It. So it is a singular third person pronoun. So when it's affirmative, we change the verb. We add S or ES, depending on the verb. In this case, describe, describe. we're on, only going to add the letter S. So I like to find out if the operation plan describes Ooh. the process. Pay attention because this is in, it's part of the exercise that you will complete in the platform, right? On the platform, sorry. The, the process parameters. Parameters. Do we use a period or a question mark here? Period. Period. Yes, we use a period when the indirect question starts with a phrase. But when the indirect question starts with a question structure, like do you know, or can you tell me, or do you have, we use a question at the end. We only make the modification of the subject and the verb. That is the, the change of the order, okay? 
Correct. So thank you so much and class for the volunteers. So I appreciate it a lot, okay? Because uh, for me, the most important is that you participate, that you speak and that you use the language, okay? Because I don't have to practice more. Well, sometimes I have to, but the point is that you learn, right? Not that I, that I learn more. You are almost native. No, I'm not. Maybe if I lived in, in the US, I could, I could become a native speaker, but it takes time, okay? But that's not my goal right now. So let's try to speak the best way that we can, okay? It doesn't matter if we have an accent. It doesn't matter if we have, a, I don't know, like strange voice, because in my case, for example, when I speak Spanish, people are like, is that you? because my voice changes from English to Spanish and Spanish to English. I don't know How why. do you like the most? Well, once somebody told me I prefer your English voice than your Spanish voice. I was like, okay. But I, I love Spanish, so I'm not going to, to stop speaking Spanish, okay? Except when I have classes or I talk to my students. Now, we're going to uh, go on, so please take a screenshot if necessary, so you remember how to complete this exercise. Okay. Three, two, one. Time is up. So we're going to move on, and um, the next exercise that we did yesterday was on page number 29. So here, we were working with vocabulary. Now we're going to pay attention to the pronunciation and I am going to ask for some volunteers. I am going to select the volunteers, okay? To match the words with the process, okay? These are different steps of a production process. So the step has a specific task. These are related to uh, shampoo, right? So pronunciation, listen and repeat. Number one, mix, right? Mix, that's easy. Two, quality control, quality control. Three, filter, filter. Four, capping. That would be like the first word that comes to your mind, right? Capping. What is that? What is that? Any idea? what that word means. The definitions are there. So according to the shampoo production process, what would be the meaning of that one? It means books up cup on a bottle. Okay, so it comes from cap, right? The cap of the bottles, the cap of the of the pens, right? The pens have a cap, right? So um, the capping process, yeah, it's it's really easy. Now let's go on. Uh, labeling, labeling, okay, labeling. So when you're speaking fast, probably you pronounce it just labeling, right? Labeling, like if the letter E doesn't exist, so you can say that labeling, um, because even if you say label, like label, you don't really pronounce the letter E. So labeling, labeling, label. And finally, packing, packing. So that's the, sec the number six. Now, volunteers, thank you so much. Gustavo, what is mix in this process? Mix. Um. All the, all the raw materials are... Okay, Diego is going to help you. See that he's a good friend. Uh -huh. oh, sorry, sorry. No, no problem. Go ahead. Uh, all the raw materials are poured Word. in a bag, uh, are poured in a bag and mixed. And mixed. And mixed. Mixed. Okay. So um, is that the same one that you think? This that one that you were thinking? Yes, I have the same. Correct, excellent. That's teamwork. 
And next one, I am going to ask Laura. Laura is here. What is quality control in this case? Um, hi. <laughs> Hello, welcome, Hello. good evening. Thank you. And I think the number two is, let me. <laughs> Mm. As simple as it's sent to be analyzed to ensure it meets its specifications. To ensure it meets the specifications. Brenda, do you think that that's the meaning of, of quality control in this case? Yeah. Okay, that's right. Diana, number three, filter. Excellent. Thank you for the reactions for your classmates who volunteer. After the batch is approved, the shampoo is poured in the right amount into the empty bottles. Okay, bon appetit. So, uh, <laughs> do you think that's correct, uh, Francisco? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Let's yes, I agree. On. I have a lot of volunteers in this class. I Are love that. <laughs> Freddy's capping. That's the most difficult one here. <laughs> Hi. Hello. The definition. Uh huh. What is the definition of this step in the shampoo? I move the machine to put a cap on every bottle and twist them tight. And twist them tight. Correct. So um, tight in this context, what would be the translation of tight? Socado. Socado. That's Salvadoran, right? Socado. <laughs> Apretado, okay. Ajustado, right? That would be the correct one. It sounds a little bit more, more, more sophisticated, right? All right. Ajustado, okay. <laughs> more sophisticated, right? So um, now let's continue with the next one. Um, labeling, Juan Jose, what is labeling? Labeling, uh, the conveyor belt takes the bottle to the machine where the labels with ingredients and the brand name is stuck on them. Talk on them. Uh, what is the correct pronounce? Well, the correct stress of the word ingre ingredients, 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 or ingredients, ingredients. Or ingredients. 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 That's correct. Ingredients. You know, ingredients. since when I remember that the stress of this word is in the second is on the second syllable, since two thousand and. Seven. Since 2007, I remember that I had a discussion with one classmate because you say, no, it's ingredients. And I was like, no, it's ingredients. Check on the dictionary. And then she said, oh, yeah, you're right. Since that moment, I remember that it's ingredients. And I never forgot about the stress of the word. So that is called meaningful learning. When you learn something and you don't forget it, no matter how long it's been. OK, so you remember those things. So that's the purpose of learning a language, right? That you remember it for a long time, right? It's not that you learn right now and next month, teacher, I don't remember what I learned in the last, in the last module. So that was not meaningful, right? It was not significant. Maybe because you were not in the class or because you were not paying too much attention. Maybe that's the reason why you can forget something. But ideally, you need to learn the majority of the things that you are taught in the classes, right? That's my purpose, okay? That you learn the majority or you remember the majority of what I, what I share with you. Now, let's go with the last one, the most difficult definition here. Jackie, packing, what is packing? Okay. Packing is 
The bottles are put into boxes and are ready to be sent to the stores. That's right, okay? Put into boxes and are ready to be sent. Okay, so we had another word here that we, um, as you can see here, we have one that Juan Jose read, okay? The <laughs> conveyor, well, the conveyor belt. What is a conveyor belt? Mm, the conveyor, oh, excuse me, I'm going to. I know what's a conveyor, but I don't know how to specify it on, in English. How to, how to specify it in English, okay. But can you translate it? In Spanish? Yep. Es una faja que traslada el producto. Manda sin fin. What was it, Gustavo? Transportadora. The first word, please. I didn't hear it. Cinta, cinta transportadora. Cinta transportadora. Oh, okay. Transportadora. Yes, correct. <laughs> that would be the most technical one. Okay, but yeah, you got the point. So that is a conveyor belt, right? So the it's taking the products to a specific place, right, and and going back and forth, right? It's turning and turning and turning uh until you turn it off okay so correct so this is the vocabulary that we studied and in a moment we are going to work again with your favorite team members okay to discuss about the steps that you need to create or to produce your invention right however at the beginning of the session uh when we were just a few uh people we were discussing about a topic and we were sharing some links okay i was copying the two links that we shared one was by diana and the other one was by me so we were thinking about um uh, music that sometimes we have music going i mean a song right going on in our head so uh and it's hard to take it take it off right to take it away from there so um and I, I said, right, if there's a song in English that you really like and you think that everybody should listen to, share it through the chat. Okay, so there you have the two links from the two songs that Diana and myself share with you. So uh, think about that kind of that song and also think about that kind of music, that singer, that music band uh, that you like, that genre, gender of music, right? Um, that would be genre uh music that you like genre and the reasons why and the reasons why you you like it okay so um it's all going to be ab around music right but with specific examples with the specific answers so you're going to be speaking and you're going to be taking notes so today we're going to practice a little bit of writing so i i want you to write down okay uh not your ideas i want you to write down what your classmate is telling you so you're listening and you're taking notes okay so when we come back i am going to ask you uh a little bit about what your classmate told you right so some volunteers okay so it is important to take notes when you're when you're in class when you are talking to someone in a class right you can take notes it's part of the learning process because they say that when you listen to something you remember it uh for a certain period of time when you see something you remember it for a for a period of time but they say that when you see something you hear something and you write it and probably you have the chance to use it it's going to be more really difficult that you forget it because when you write down when you when you uh take notes when you put the words in a, on a piece of paper on a, or in a computer, let's say, you remember more than when you just listen or when you just see. So the when you're writing, you are doing double, you're doing double process. One, because your, your body is doing something, right? Your face is performing the movement. And two, because your eyes are looking at the word, how it is spelled. So it's like you have double input right your your movement and 
what you see, the words, the letters. So it is more, I mean, it is better for you to write down what you're learning, what you're studying, because you remember more than just, okay, I got it. And then like going shopping, right? When is more likely that you forget something? When you make a list or when you just try to remember what you have to buy? When you make a list. When you make a list, even if you forget the list, but as you were making the list, you have more memory about the, the list of, of things that you have to buy. So writing is really important and you don't have to take it for granted. Okay, don't take it for granted. That is an idiomatic expression, okay? Don't take it for granted this no lo den por sentado or no um, underestimated, right? Do not underestimate it. No hay que so, um, sobreestimarlo. No, sobreestimarlo. Underestimated. My goodness, I'm forgetting some words in Spanish. Yeah. I think it's that you don't have to. Over. It's over. Overestimate. Underestimate. Underestimate. Yeah. Uh, verlo de menos, okay? So <laughs> don't don't uh, underestimate the the power of writing things, okay? So um, that's what you're going to do right now. I am going to give you exactly six minutes, okay? It's enough time because you're going to be in small rooms, maximum with three people, with two more people, right? including yourself. So uh, six minutes. If I see that, every, that you still need to share more, I'm going to give you an extra one. And it's all going to be about that. So what are you going to ask? Overestimate, yeah, overestimate is one. But the one that I would try to say in this case is underestimate. Because it's like, nah, writing is not so important. You underestimate it. Okay. It's like take out value from something. Uh -huh, like you, you don't appreciate it uh, too much. Uh -huh. And overestimate is the opposite, right? When you say like, no, writing is the best. And somebody can tell you, mm, it's not the best. I think the best is that you speak the language. Yeah. Okay. It makes sense, right? So that's what you're going to do right now. I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Everything's going to be around music that you like, the reasons why you like it, the kind of singers, the specific singers, right? Uh, what you feel, what when you use when you listen to this kind of music, what do we, what do you use music for? Okay, so uh, you can say, well, uh, when I work or when I do the housework, I like to. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, I like to. Uh, to listen to music when I'm doing the house chores because I feel more energy, more motivation, right? Or I concentrate more when I listen to rock music and somebody can say like, really, is that possible? But yeah, it works for some people, right? And here we go, or I feel better. It's like a therapy for me. I cannot live one day without music. Um, let me see how many people we have. Almost everybody's in the house. That's amazing. So let me check it out i'm going to create six mm, yeah six breakout rooms will be okay one two three four good one two three and four excellent one two three good one two three one two three and here we have two so we need one more person here okay let me check I'm going to move somebody. Okay, so there will be just one. Yeah, got it. Ready, set, and go. Let's rock and roll. Okay, I said limitation and see you in a moment. I'll see you in a moment. Okay. Um, Diego, did you get the invitation?
perfect. Listen to the track. Uh huh. I'm learning about the singer. A song. Uh huh. Yes. Teacher. Hello. Ready. What happened? Uh, for activity, um, just to just to be sure, uh, we need to listen in the, the 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 soundtrack. Um, maybe to describe the, the the singer. No, you're going to talk about music, okay? The music that you like, the singers, the bands. Ah, okay. What we we like? Why? Uh -huh, what exactly. kind of music? What kind of music? Eh. It's okay. all about music, yeah. Oh, about music. Well, in my case, I like uh, right. almost no, no, uh, all yeah. all music, all kind of music like salsa, merengue, bachata, mm -hmm. uh, reggaeton too. But I like uh, heavy metal, heavy metal, mm -hmm. uh, rock, and. Uh, uh, pop like Britney Spears or like uh, Christina Aguilera uh, mm -hmm. because I um, in my time when I when I was young mm -hmm. <laughs> when I was very young <laughs> I listened Actually, to you were younger when you were Actually. younger yeah uh -huh. when I'm younger thank you teacher when I younger uh, I listened to that music like and sing Box Box Tricks Boy mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. And the um, salsa music like John Rivera, Mark Anthony, uh, Gilberto Santa Rosa, um, 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 uh, Tony Vega, and others, and others singer. Um, oh, Willie Colon. I like <laughs> that, that song. And, and about rock, uh, I like like audio, audio slave, mm, audio slave, but it's I don't I'm not sure if audio slave is rock. Yeah, it's uh, rock. it's other. Oh, okay, it's a type Thank of you. rock. Yeah, uh, I, I would, yeah, I, I would just like Lim Bisky, Lincoln mm -hmm. Park, uh, uh, Corn, uh, Creel. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yes, it's a good. Yeah, Guns yeah. N' Roses and. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'm just saying, uh, I told you. And uh, Bon Jovi. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have I have a big list. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, you, you um, really like all kinds singing. of music. <laughs> yes. Do you yeah, like Yeah, I like Bilma all kinds of music. Vilma Palme Vampiro, yeah. Eros er, er, del Silencio. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, Spanish. Enanitos Verdes. Eh, Maná. Um, all the all kinds of music, okay, okay, okay. maybe. Oh, okay. Uh huh. And solo stereo. Uh, I like that music. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. one other. Billy Joel. What? Billy Joel. Joel. Yeah, Billy yes. Joel, like the piano man. Yes. The piano man, honesty. Um, there are many many songs. Oh. Excellent. Billy Joel. Ah, he sings Uptown Girls. Yes, yes, uh, excellent, excellent. And Honesty is, is a really beautiful song. Yes, when Honesty, I when I hear Honesty for uh, first time, I was sixteen years old. Wow. In 1990, 1990, no, 1979. 1979, okay. Yes, in, in Google said that he he made music since 1973. Oh, honesty. No, music, the music that uh, from, from Billy Joel. Yes, yes, many music. Uh, he's a good singer from the 70s, 70s and 80s. 
he's okay. he's now 72 years old okay okay and you harvey okay in my case i love all kinds of music i love the music the music maybe feel oh when i feel sad it was i i listened the first time in an english class when i was in at university which song yellow from oh okay yellow yes my first song, I think, was uh, More Than Words. Ah, uh, that is yeah. so beautiful. I, I know just the beginning of the song, mm -hmm. but it's, it's so beautiful. beautiful. Yes. Yes. Can you sing? <laughs> Could you sing <laughs> for us? <laughs> no. No, I have to check the other breakout rooms. You. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Good luck. Continue talking. Excellent job. You're great. You're awesome. And you, Diego? Uh, I like. Me uh, gusta. I like the variety, but uh, R and B. I. Oh, sorry. R and B, for example. Uh, sorry. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, se me se me activó YouTube el video que me pusieron, pero. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, R. Kelly. Um, uh, and some and some words I have the pronunciation from British. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I have this problem. So, but um, I think I I can talk a little bit. <laughs> you are a polyglot. <laughs> polyglot. Yeah. Polyglot. Yes. Uh, yesterday you tell me that you. Are being in different countries, no? Yes, yes. I was yes. in okay. Canada, Africa, eh, Panama, and um, six or seven countries in Europe: mm -hmm. French, Portugal, eh, Germany. Eh, to to um, Snow Dog. So it's like. Like I was telling you, it's like more of the ghetto rap, so. Yeah. It's kind of weird for some people. <laughs> I have heard some rap too, but I don't remember the name of the artist. Uh, Tupac, I hear, I hear of something of him and yeah. <laughs> there are mostly, mostly black people, black people people uh, singing that, right? I think because I live in the, let's say, on the lay, on the ghetto, so I got used to listen to that kind of music. <laughs> and you were in there. In, you were in the US, right? Or, or? That's right. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's interesting. So we finish, I think. <laughs> yeah. You ask all the questions about related to the topic? We yeah. ask uh, what kind of music we like. Uh -huh. uh, what Talk kind about of your, genre, favorite, uh -huh, your favorite band, band or, band. or, uh -huh. or song. And, and the reasons. And the reasons. OK, and the reasons. Uh, what was your favorite music teacher? We mostly hear music for relaxing purposes. <laughs> okay, for relaxing purposes. So that Hell is the purpose yeah. of listening to music for you. Okay. And the frequency, it's every day, I suppose. Almost every day. Almost every day. <laughs> yes. 
at specific times of the day? No. Mm, no. No? For me? Because I usually listen to music in the morning after I wake up. Morning. Yeah, when I'm getting ready. <laughs> or when you're driving. When I'm driving, yes. Definitely. When I'm, yeah. When we're, we're driving. And like... when I'm not teaching at night, I listen a little bit <laughs> as well. <laughs> okay, when I'm working uh, sometimes. Okay. Um, no, in my case, I like different types, but in general, I would say that my favorite one is uh, music in English from the 80s, uh, a little bit of 70s, and 90s. Those are some disco music or what? I like uh, I like some pop music, but mostly I like uh, soft rock, like ballad rocks, like Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith. And I love the old music from the 70s and 80s, like Queen or Eagle, the Eagles. Um, uh, so let me check. You listen to Freddie Mercury? Yeah, yeah. I've heard, I heard most of the songs from, from them. Um, I love this uh, Tears for, let me check. I don't remember the name of all the bands, but I love a lot of songs from, from different bands. Uh, and that's the kind of music that I listen most of the time. 80s. Uh, I even like the Beatles and the Bee Gees. Uh, I mean, all those kind of music from that generation for me is great. Uh, Foreigner or Scorpions. Uh, yeah, I also hear some of the music sometimes when I'm air supply i mean <laughs> there are, but the majority of them is music in english and i like rock in spanish too like um from argentina from spain from mexico a couple from mexico uh -huh. that's the kind of music that i usually listen to and from time to time a little bit of hip-hop or electronic just to get some energy <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. we were discussing about that uh, yeah it depends on the purpose right Give some energy when you listen to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's one of my favorite uh, general music, the electronic, the electro dance mm, music. Okay. And also, I tell them that uh, the electro swing is a kind of music too. Mm. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay, interesting. So what let's. Kind of, I will see you in a moment. Uh -huh. What kind of hip hop music do you listen? Um, I used to listen mainly um, when this guy came up, uh, like the Eminem season, when you had Dr. Dre and you had a little bit of uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 50 the Cent, the popular ones. Yeah, the, that, 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 that's what I used to listen to. And the other one was called, um, uh, I forgot the name. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so that, that was what I used to listen to sometimes. Okay, microphone on. Okay, so let's check who's still here. I'm going to call out your names, but I'm going to start from the last person in the list to the first person. So we start from Elizabeth, not, uh, let me check, Roxana. Present teacher. Yanari. I'm here. Nice. Miguel. Present. Okay, Gustavo. Yes. Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Arvin. Present, teacher. Jackie. I'm here. Laura. I'm here. Perez. I'm here. Francisco. Present, teacher. Or. I'm here. Diego. Present. Diana. I'm here. Brenda. Here. Blanca. Did we lose Blanca's connection? I think so. I don't see. She's writing the WhatsApp. Oh, really? I haven't checked my phone. 
What did she say? I don't know where I have my phone, by the way. She don't have internet. She doesn't have internet. Okay. Thank you for telling me, Mariela. Um, only, only for WhatsApp. What? Only have internet for WhatsApp. Uh huh. Yeah. You, yeah. They usually give you that um, unlimited. Uh, Mariela and Beatriz. Here. Present. Okay. The Anas. So, uh, let's see how much attention you were paying to your classmates. Uh, Harbin, what kind of music does Juan Jose like? Juan Jose likes uh, the romantic music and especially from America and England music. From the US he's, and from England? Yes, ah. he says the, that kind of music like, uh, he loves. Okay, okay. Nice. Juan Jose, uh, can you mention one of Floor's favorite singers or music bands? Um, she like us uh, um, every kind of music, every kind of music. And um, for example, I remember that like uh, salsa. She likes salsa, <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> but she says she likes salsa brava. Salsa brava to dance. Yes. Ah, okay. No, it's I said a that dancing it depends girl. On my mood. Depend, depends depending on, on my mood. Depending on your mood. Ah, okay. Depending on your mood. That yeah, dancing girl. Salsa brava or romantic salsa? Uh -huh. No, just salsa brava. Okay, okay. I don't know. I'm not sure what is the salsa brava, but okay. I have an idea. Uh, Floor. What about Harbin? What is the reason why Harbin listens to music? Uh, Harbin said that in, he liked, he really liked music and he really liked every kind of music. Um, the for reason? example, it's because the music works for, I don't know, to, to, to be in focus on important, important activities. Uh -huh. So he can concentrate with music. Okay. Uh -huh. So for concentration. Yes. Interesting. Now, breaker room number two. Thank you so much for sharing. You really pay attention to each other. That's awesome. In the breaker room number two, we had Jackie. Jackie, can you please share with us what kind of music Jennifer likes? Yes, of course. Okay. Jennifer likes um, many kinds of music. Mm -hmm. and, well, and also Christian music. Gospel. And gospel. Gospel, yes. yeah. Gospel or religious, music. Religious music. Uh -huh. uh, gospel. Exactly. And uh, romantic music. Um, she likes Korean songs too. K-pop. Mm -hmm. K-pop, exactly. Yeah, K-pop. Thank you. Yeah. She's, uh, she's Blanca's yeah. comadre. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Exactly. <laughs> and Laura said that um, she doesn't have uh, she doesn't have time to listen to music. Really? Yes. Not even when, when, when you're driving, Laura? We lost connection with Laura. Okay, so... Uh, that, that she doesn't turn on the radio when uh -huh. she is driving to the house or to the work. To ah, the okay. Or Probably because of concentration, right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Got it. Thank you so much. Uh, Jennifer, can you mention some of uh, Jackie's favorite singers or, or music bands? Uh, I don't remember that she told me any bands, but I just remember that she listening to music 
it depends on the mood. On For the example, mood, uh -huh. on her she, mood. She is sad. She listens something sad to get in sadder. To get sadder. How is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> okay. And when he is doing chores, uh -huh. he listens something uh, happier. Happier. Yes. Okay, okay. Get more energy. Got it. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so I don't know. It happened to me that I, I, some weeks ago that a student told me that when I'm sad, I listen to sad music. And I'm like, why? I don't know. I feel sadder and then I feel well. That's okay. I don't understand, but I guess that if it works for them, it's okay. Now <laughs> we're going to go on. I with used the... to do that. <laughs> huh? You used Teacher, to do that. I do the same. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. And the student who told me that was a girl. So I wonder if it is a girl's thing. I think so. Okay. Because we work differently in some aspects, right? So maybe that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do my research on Google. Um, then rule number three, we had Beatriz, Mariela, and Diego. Uh, Diego, what kind of music does Beatriz like? Uh, she's like uh, romantic music. Like? All romantic music. Like Kim Flip? Uh, no, Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi is a, is a, is a one of favorite singer. Ah, okay. So romantic music in English. Exactly. Okay. Mm. That's what you remember right now. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Diego Beatriz. Um, can you mention the reason why Diego likes to listen to music or the kind of music that he listens to? No, teacher. I don't remember what. Or did he mention he, any singer? He said. Uh, hmm. I don't remember, teacher. I remember uh, he liked listening to music like salsa and hip hop, and oh, okay. he usually listening to music, listening to music when he go to work in the afternoon when he come back at home. Okay. He comes back at home. He comes back home. Okay, got it. He goes back home, right? Okay. Yes. Good. Excellent. And Mariela? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us uh, uh, one, what is, well, who is one of your favorite singers or band? Mm, I don't have favorite, but uh, sometimes I listen Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Okay. So Bon Jovi is popular. Now I see that. There's a tendency. Brenda, <laughs> Gustavo, and Miguel. What can you share with us? Brenda, can you tell us a little bit about Gustavo's uh, or Miguel's uh, taste in music? Well, teacher, uh, uh, talking about uh, with uh, favorite, mus mus favorite music, for example, mm -hmm. um, Gustavo, uh, he tell us um, uh, the, he hear Metallica. Uh, he had a favorite group is Metallica. Uh, I remember uh, that he told me that uh, he hear this kind of music since uh, when was a child. Was a child was child yes uh, around six years i i, I remember wow. since yes and um, brenda uh, she tell me uh she she don't doesn't have a, a gender favorite gender okay but uh, she listened to romantic music uh, sometime 
and she feels happy when hear this kind of music. Okay. Yes. So she's a romantic girl. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gustavo, do you remember what what um what is the reason why M Miguel likes to listen to music? Or I don't remember. I, I don't remember uh, the reason, but uh, I remember that he say that he likes the electric electronic music. Electronic. Yes. But like, I don't remember the reason. Electronic, like the, Avicii or something like that? No? The, don't the, mention the group. The, the, mention. Is, ah. the, the, the reason uh, is uh, because uh, I, I feel that relax me uh, uh, really, really good. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I just hear uh, this music uh, when I drive. Car, when you're driving, for example, okay. and yes, yes, and in at night, for example, uh, after uh, go to bed, I hear a little time of music. Okay, got it. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, that would be their room number four. We go with the next one, number five. Uh, that was uh, Freddie's group. Freddie, Roxana, and Fabio. What can you share with us, Freddie? Tell us ab about Roxana. Mm, actually, I think Roxana says she likes. Uh... <laughs> well, let, let me remember. I think it was. I think it was electronic. Yeah. Okay. Fabio says yes. And Fabio's was uh, okay. Wait, Fabio is going to tell us about about you, and then Roxana is going to tell us about Fabio. Ah, okay. So, what did Freddy say? Freddy say he like uh, rap, rap, rap music. And he say one of the uh, artists he listened is Tupac. Okay, Tupac. Tupac and he listened that kind of music mostly for relax. It it say it helped him to feel relaxed, uh, feel happy. Feel happy. Okay. And then Roxana, what can you tell us about Fabio's uh, information? Okay, he said that he liked to listen electronic music. Mm -hmm. Um, because uh, it gives um a lot of energy. For example, when he is working or doing something in his house, mm -hmm. and that's his said. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um, that will be all about the group number five and last but not least we have the room breakout room number six that was diana francisco and Gennady. francisco what can you share with us um <coughs> for example Gennady and i we talk about the the <laughs> best artists to the Salvador. The best serve artist <laughs> of El Salvador. Yes. Okay. I am sure that uh, we hear or listen. Escuchado más de una vez? How do you say? Listening. Uh huh. We have we have heard about him or or listen about him. I mean, listen listening to him. Listening about him. Okay, so um, in that case, I, we'll be here about him. Uh huh. What? Um. Mm. But uh, is the the primo chomo? Okay. <laughs> I, I I think that for your expression, I think do you know? <laughs> I don't is know it, who that is. Really? And why is La hora la you? Yeah. We listen to that music. Oh, that 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 program with okay. Primo Chamo. From 4 p.m. 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. 
La hora de la cucharada. From 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. I am sleeping at yeah. that time. Okay. No, because because my father, my father's always listen listen at that 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 radio. Ah, okay. okay. When uh, uh, when the radio was at uh, a.m. and um, amplitude modular. Uh, uh, the uh, frequency, uh, yeah, that was different. The uh, frequency, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Go ahead, Francisco. So that's what you were talking about. Um, okay, now we're going to move on. Uh, I hope that you, I hope that you enjoyed what your favorite music. My favorite kind of music. I was selling yes. one of the in one of the breaker rooms that I like uh, mostly music in English. Uh, I listen to music from the late seventies yeah, and eighties. What what kind of music? Eighties uh, music in English, like uh, Chicago. I like. Queen, I like the even the Beatles. I like some songs from them. Uh, I love uh, Scorpion. Aerosmith is one of my favorite bands. Uh, ACDC. So it's, like, it's like soft rock. Yeah, I, I like some songs from ACDC as well, or a couple of Led Zeppelin, maybe. So, uh, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> it's very hard, good. hard rock. Not too much, not too much, just a couple. Uh, but I like soft uh, ballad rock. That would be the the one the, the style I think. It's a little bit of pop uh, as well, and uh, depending on the mood, yes, I I can listen to electronic or uh, rock in Spanish. I like salsa, but mm -hmm. just in some occasions. Uh huh. Yeah. So okay. uh, wow. yeah, I I like different kinds of Open music, mind. but music. not. Not too Agropecuaria much. music. I don't like banda. I don't like banda. I don't like, I don't like that. Uh, it's like cumbias, just for December, right? Just for the for the celebration. But yeah. <laughs> That's uh, yeah, like an insetta, right? Now we're going to move on and uh, my God, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Janet is really, really <laughs> creative. Now we're going to, I'm going to share the screen with you so we can go on with the show must go on. So here we go. Um, so you already have the previous information about the, uh, uh, let's say, the steps, right, to follow uh, when you're uh, checking or the the quality of your product, right? So there are some steps to produce it in the so the production process is what you're going to work on. Now you already have a prototype, you already have a description, you have benefits, characteristics, etc., etc., etc. So what you're going to do right now is to design, okay, as a group. Uh, Okay, I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> so you're going to sign a basic production process to uh, start massive manufacturing of the prototype. So. Oh my God, again with the product. <laughs> yes, this is not over. This is not over, oh okay? My God. <laughs> so now, now what you're going to do is just to uh, create, I mean, make a list of the things that your product needs. Maybe your product doesn't need materials, right? Um, but in details, right, you're going to write down the essential tasks that you're going to follow to create your product. So what is going to be the production process? So what you're going to do is basically the sequence. You can draw in a, in a piece of paper, for example, what is going to be the sequence? Or you can use Word, right, or PowerPoint, whatever. Uh, what is going to be the sequence to produce your product, to create your product, to build your product, to make your product. So um, just that, okay? A, a little diagram, a little diagram, okay? Where you specify the process that you will follow to create your, your product. And um, you can mention some methods, you can mention some mach machinery that you will need if necessary, 
Uh, but the most important right now is that you think about the steps, right? What is going to be the steps to produce that specific item, okay? Uh, for Depending on the product, right? I suppose that for Sunshine, for example, it's not something really complex, but they have to follow a certain process, right? To create and to have the product to offer to the market. Um, so we're going to do this mini practice, just create in one document, like a little, um, let's say diagram or mind map, where you mention the steps that you will follow from the beginning till the final product, okay? So like a map, you're going to make a map, okay? To understand how you're going to do it. And this is going to be obviously in the breaker rooms. Again, we're going to make the teams. So uh, I promise you that we're getting closer to the end, right? So there will be a moment that you will not continue working on your product. I don't know exactly when, but the first room is going to be uh, the quaternarian ammonium with fragrances. So quaternary ammonium. So, uh, Jennifer Harbin, I think. Rolando. Rolando. Diego. Diego. Uh, and. Me and Brenda. Mariela really? and Brenda. Okay, so you are part of the team one. Team two, Sunshine. So here we have a uh, Beatriz. I think with Flor. Yes, Flor and Gustavo. And, and Laura. Gustavo. Laura is here. Laura sister. Okay. And then we have Gustavo. Good. Then room number three. Find your pet. This is the team where Blanca was, right? So I think Fabio, you were in this. No, you were in the last one. Uh, pet lovers. So. Uh, Juan Jose, are you part of the Find Your Pet? Yes. I think so, yes. Who else? Francisco. And Francisco. Diana. Francisco, Diana. Miguel. Me. Miguel. Becca. Okay, got it. And the last one is the pet lover. So, Freddy's, Jackie, Fabio, and Jan yeah, Roxana, and Janari, right? That's right. Okay, perfect. So I have the four teams ready. What are you going to do in this moment? Uh, let's see. Floor. Yes, teacher. What are you going to do in this moment? Uh, we are going to make like a diagram, you said. A diagram, yes. About the process or of our product yeah the production process okay how the you're production. going to do it what machines what materials okay but what? teacher if we don't know i mean it's like a good salvadorian you investigate it or you invent it okay i'm going to invent. <laughs> okay so that's so what you're working at, that's what you're working as a team right so you can come up with something okay oh my so God. uh Ready, set, and go. No, not ready. What is the question, the other? <laughs> no question, but I'm not ready. Ah, okay. So uh, for this, you have exactly 10 minutes. Okay, let me check. Yeah, go to the breaker rooms now. Ten minutes, and then Teacher, we come back. Hello. Uh, can you send send me in a room, please? Okay, you didn't get the invitation. Yes. Okay, let me check. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. 
breakout room number two. Perfect. We need the help from Rolando because he knows. Yes, or or a speaker today is not here. No, he told me he was working, <laughs> so we lost the volunteer number one. Sí, Rolando, Rolando is the owner. Owner of the process. We are the employees. So what happens, yes, we are when, what happens when the manager is not present? <laughs> no. The employees have a party, right? Yeah. <laughs> you relax and watch Netflix. No, you have to think about something. You have to make a decision. Okay. Come make a party a decision. Something. I think Jennifer is good at Jennifer and Brenda are good mm -hmm. at making 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 diagrams using different charts. Okay. <laughs> You have exactly 10 minutes, guys. Go ahead. If you need help, let me know. Thank or you, you can or you can call you can call Rolanda. <laughs> okay. Sunshine. Yes. Sunshine. We are we are investigating this moment. Okay, okay. The production process, steps for the production process. Okay, got it. Floor, we need fields for this. Yes. <laughs> I, oh. I, I'm going to send you oh, something. That's a video. Just... I thought it was an image. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> It's an interactive image. It's going to be good for the presentation. Yeah. I was preparing yesterday. <laughs> I was I was looking something about flowers and ah. I and, and I flower. yeah and I find that image and I think is was really nice for it this is. presentation. It is. Perfect. So yeah. um yeah, so you can have the the steps, right? So maybe you can represent them by, for example, including images of the products, right? The, for example, the stones, the seeds, whatever, and then you put it yeah. all together. So that can be like an illustration of everything that you need and how you're going to like, to have this final product, what mm -hmm. materials do you use and how do you put them in which order, right? Because it's okay. not to put the cactus first and then you put the, the, the I don't know, the, the dirt, right? Or the, the special sand or ground that you use and then the, the rocks. I mean, it's, there's it's a special, the pots, no? uh -huh, there's this process that you follow. Mm -hmm. okay. the, for example, the, the type of, um, what do you call this? My goodness, I forgot they were in the two languages. <laughs> this kind of thing happen. Um, fertilizer. What kind of fertilizer you can use for this kind of plants, for example? That would be like okay. abono. Yeah, that would be a translation. Fertilizer. Yeah, abono, yeah. Teacher, and um, how we can say, for example, that we, we sow and reproduce them, but in in instead then we can say i don't know like because no son semillas are like a babies of the plants or something like that mm, like injertos uh-huh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something like that because the succulents uh, you got uh, one clover yes one clover is clover the name? No. What do you want to say? Oja. Leaf. 
Leave, leave, leave. You you got the leave? Oh, or could and be in the, in the ground. Start to grow. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, let me check. Well, the word in botanic for the artificial propagation of it's graft. Wow. Graft. We can say we can say we sowed and reproduce the grafts. Graft. It's it's correct, teacher. Okay, so uh, wait a second. Now the graft is when you mix two, so it, it doesn't match. Uh, so it's mm. not it's not <laughs> inherto. Uh. It's not inherto. Okay, inherto. So it's not inherto. So inherto is well the the graft is when you or cyan they call it cyan as well. Is when you have the, for example, a rose and you want that is red and then you want to have a, a white rose. So then you, in, in between the, 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 the other one, you uh, stick the white one and then you wait for them to be connected. So that's, that's inherited. So it's not that's what you're trying to say. like a transplant. Yeah, yeah, that would transplanted, right? That would be the one. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I'm looking for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm checking right now. And yes, it makes sense for plants. Uh, Transplant. It's uh, let me check for plants. Yeah, plant transfer to a new location. Eh, good work. Okay, let me check the other breaker room, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay. okay. Mm, that would be number three. Process. But need need uh, to explain the machine I, and the process. The machine and the process. Um, I think that uh, we need to to start to maybe to design the the diagram. Maybe yeah. mm -hmm, maybe for example, I I, I don't know. I think uh, maybe put the the name of my. Or, or product and maybe to uh, agree the, for example, maybe the, 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 the material, the necklace, the silicone chips, mm -hmm. um, maybe uh, search the, the apps what, that we need to, to include. Uh, obviously, we need to 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 include the the, the, the customer for the product. I uh, don't know. You says Francisco uh, like uh, list the materials. Yes, we we need for, for the... yeah for the presentation. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, for that, for that saying uh, that the sum of material we need is close and we need to think what a machine to need to process the cloth or leather. We need to think too uh, yes. how we were we saying that leather, we don't, we're not going to use leather because that it's something from animals and this is a uh, Something for pets, only, it doesn't make mm -hmm. sense. In, in this only, case, we, we only have cloth. The, only cloth. Mm -hmm. in, in this okay. case, we have the uh, Ventaja, maybe Advantage. You need, 
advantage, maybe we need to the the material, maybe we can to to buy uh, pre-armado, for example, the pre-assemble, pre-assemble, yeah, ensemble. Uh, maybe the the chips of silicon. We can to 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 buy only to to insert in the necklace, and maybe activity with the app. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so... in, your, in your case, part of your, part of the of the production process is the assembling. Right, so you need to have a, an assembling line, assembling process, because you have the chip, you have the necklace, you have the, I don't know, uh, like, a, like a lock, for example, where you unite the, the necklace and you close it, right? You lock it, or you open it. Mm -hmm. So um, that is part of the process, right? When you put together the pieces to create the product. So yeah. maybe you can illustrate it uh, similar to the pictures that you had over there. You can illustrate the, the components, right, of, the, of your necklace. So it can be a picture of a ship. It can be a picture of a necklace. It can be a picture of, a, I don't know, the, if there is a remote, for example, or the battery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huh? battery is one of our... Mm -hmm. Materials uh -huh. we need. Right. To... Miguel, okay. um, maybe maybe you can to search uh, uh, you can uh, search. Uh, to uh, the image, image, mm -hmm. a picture of of the for the a designer. Uh, the developers, I think. What else did you say? Designer. Yeah. Okay. So you're working on specifying the materials. Specify the materials. Okay. And the production process? We have uh, made an eight. I think this is what it say, right? Mm -hmm. But teacher, we, we are creating an app, so uh, we only have to create uh, the app oh, and, and yes, finished. only one. <laughs> only one step. No, it's no. only one creation. Like uh, yes, yeah. no mass production. Uh huh. Yeah. In your case, it doesn't apply, right? There is no mass production. Yeah. Uh, we for a lot of production uh, as uh, thinking what we need to make the. The prototype because the prototype the, the, pro, the prototype were like a better better creation mm -hmm. better test beta, uh, beta, we, yeah better version better version we put uh, almost the same but uh, just uh, uh, adding a few more like uh, okay. the testing the testing. The testing app and the servers, uh, all the same hired and um, app development team, hired a designer, run more text for the app, and you were happy with that publishing the app store. For the okay. first three are the same as before. Uh, we need to have already a goal set, what we want to get, uh, make with the app. The wireframe, because that is the, the, the sketch of how we want to put all the things in the app. It can change, but uh, we need that first. Uh, the basic model, as we were talking in the last session, yeah. for, a first, uh, for a first model, we can use a software, uh, a software that helps us uh, develop a first app, a basic, but that have all the things we, we want to get to okay. test in the first time be that, that thing work well and we when we got that already we can hire the app development team because mm -hmm. we need the app uh, ready okay not, not as amateurs like <laughs> like amateurs uh -huh, exactly uh -huh. got it uh, and they okay. can help us find more 
better things to better options to uh, do the app and the designer to help us make the a better image for the app and run a final test because for the app creation the people run a lot of testing. They have to, <laughs> they have to run uh run they a have lot to of, run and okay. they have to run lots so that is going to be the the order right of the production process for you that's right okay and the materials uh a computer to start because <laughs> in a computer is when is where we will start developing uh, servers program to run the app creation money or some financial credit the app developer team mm -hmm. and a designer's team too or just a designer just a and designer uh -huh. got it okay. i don't know what else <laughs> Yeah, I guess that that would be that would be basically all. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's not much because it's, everything is very technical in your case. Everything is very very technical. Yeah, very technological. So yeah, I got it. So you're basically ready, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Identify the time machinery, a computer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, if you're not going to add any kind of uh, sketch or sketch. format or or let's say a, a frame or or a diagram that's okay so just choose who's going to share the presentation i mean the information um have already a set goal i, I don't think that's really a process a part okay, of the so process yeah building yeah. the app wireframe mm -hmm. Just Got seven. It. Okay, let me check materials. the other groups and I'll be back. Okay. You have exactly, let me check, one minute. One minute. I'm okay. going to write a message. Because, in the product. because after the step that we produce the product, we can use that word or that uh -huh. step. Mm -hmm. Before that and after the packing, because we have to do that. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know what is the word t shirt. Hello. Ah. Who can I say? And put the yard el producto. Bottle. Bottle. Use okay. bottle. What, what is the product? The, ah, yeah. What, the 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 money. Money. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That would be a bottling. Bar, bar Bottle, 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 bottling, uh -huh. bottling, process, bottling, process, yeah. B O T T L I N G, -N -G. I -N -G. yeah, bottling, bottling, bottling okay. process. Is bottling like or bottling? You can say bottling if it's complicated, bottling. yeah, but yeah, bottle, bottling, so yeah, it sounds mm -hmm. a little bit complicated, but yeah, that's the process. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, so you're ready. Let me check the other two groups and we go back to the session. So choose who's going to present, right? To share the information. We we I'm have gonna, some. I'm gonna put the, the, the presentation. Who's going to, <laughs> to present? We lost. You lost? Yes. Who? Anna? All. All, all the presentation? All we are lost. You're lost. <laughs> yes. I don't believe that. Yes. I I'm between the you. sea. I Floor is I... between the desert. In Anna is in in the Antarctica. In the middle of the Antarctica. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Antarctica. So mm -hmm. in your case, I think that you are lost because you are the chosen one, right, to present. No. No, teacher. No, <laughs> no way. Who's going to present? Floor? Teacher. Floor have experience. No, no, I don't have experience. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, we we're, we have we need more time, but if not is possible, we are going to invent something. 
Okay, you're going to make something up. Yeah, that's okay for today because remember that we have to do a little bit more. But for today, uh -huh. that's okay. Okay. Okay, see you in a moment. Teacher, I go out to my breakout rooms. Yeah, I was checking that, but the rest of your classes are coming right now. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. All right, so almost, well, that we have one group finished. The next ones are coming. Okay, the rest of your classes are coming. Pretty good. This is too difficult for it, so for too short time. Yes. It is, but as you are a super team. Oh no. Oh Everything gets easier. Okay, so <laughs> quickly we're going to um, just uh, clarify some things, right? So you're going to be making this presentation uh, at the beginning of tomorrow's session. Why? Because I know that you have some details to add. Probably there's just one group that it's uh, ready right now because they have already advanced a little bit on the on the information. So it's going to be a little bit easier for them. However, we don't have that much time for the presentations. And I'm just, I'm going to include, I'm going to mention something right now I'm going to share with you. Uh, Diana, by the way, I wanted to ask you if it's possible for you to stay for the last 10 minutes. Does you appear in the list? Oh my God. Yes. Uh, the last one. Can be tomorrow? Only if you make an agreement with Brenda. Brenda, could you stay today? Sure. Hi, thank okay. you. <laughs> okay, tomorrow is going to be my... <laughs> Turn. Okay, you owe Brenda two pupusas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And a chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let me share this with you quickly. Okay, so a uh, part of the process or the vocabulary that you probably used is uh, related to this. Uh, assembling, right? Assembling is something that the majority of the companies have when they're producing something, they're making a product. Um, for example, the, we can think about how they make cars, right? So it's not so simple. There are a lot of different steps to make a car. And every part of the process, every step has some machinery, has some equipment, has some materials, has some people, specific people working on that, right? Have you ever visited an assembly plant? Raise your hand if you have that experience of visiting an assembly plant. In my case, I have only gone to a sugar refinery, to an ingenio where they make sugar. That is the only place that I have been, that is a, it's a factory. So I saw the process of create, I mean, making sugar. Right. Uh, so, anybody? No one? Uh, you're talking about that kind of process? Yeah, I used to work on this agro. Okay, so you, you have this in an assembly plan where you, they put different parts to create a product, right? Okay. Uh, we, we used to create Soma. It's a company of, of, a, of a, what you call, um, I don't know how to say, a one in English. Fertilizer? Fertilizer. Yeah. Fertilizer. Okay, fertilizer. So in this case, what is the difference between assembly line and production line? What is the difference? Can you come up with any idea? Repeat, please. I, I, I can. What is the difference question. between an assembly line and a production line? Production line that you make the product and assembly and that you put all the pieces together. That would be a simple definition, right? A very basic and clear definition. Correct. So assembling is basically when you create something that needs a lot of pieces, right? And you put it together. And then the production line, for, we mentioned in the previous units, right? That 
for example, when you create a new a new meal, a new pizza, a new hamburger, something new that you offer, there's a new production line. So you're making, for example, natural drinks, so or milkshakes, right? So that's a production line because it's it's a new product that you put in the menu, right, or in the to offer to the customer. And the assembly line, uh, it's when you have different people or machines working to put together different parts of a, of a product to create a final one, okay? Like a prototype or the mass production. Now, conveyor belt, we already mentioned that, uh, is the, where you put the products and, or the parts of the product and they go right to a specific place where the, the process continues. What is bulk production? What do you think bulk production is? Somebody? Like massive or uh, maybe big production? Okay, or... big production. Uh, how would you translate that? Um... Like or... uh, mm -hmm. Production is like, uh, I don't know, a granel, which you have the, the pieces. Mm -hmm. That's a lot correct. Of pieces. That's correct. You have the big thing, right? Uh, yes. That, that would be it. Okay, uh, manual labor. What is manual labor? It's really easy. Take it uh, one by one by hand. Mm -hmm. So it's How a process that people do, your... right? With their hands. Yes, the so... And machine hours? When you need a machinery for make a soldier, for example, soldadura, uh, weldering. We're going to see that in a moment. Yes, that yeah, vocabulary. Yeah. So the machine hours are the hours or the time that the machines work, right? To create in an assembly line, in a factory, right? So those are machine hours. To create a car, it's not just one minute or two minutes or three minutes. And it's not just manual labor. It, there is, I mean, it takes some machine Is hours to create that. I don't know, maybe tomorrow. So let's continue. Here is the vocabulary, okay? So Gustavo already mentioned weld, okay? So what is the definition of weld according to what Gustavo shared with us right now? We have five words, weld, listen and pay attention to your pronunciation, all right? Weld, screw, tighten or tighten, adjust and a screw, a screw, right? So it's, it's an object. And screw number two is the action. So, what is weld? We can use the annotation here. No, we have the definitions. You have to. Ah, the definition. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have to match. It will be to join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating so the edges come together. So, the edges come together and you make just one piece. Correct. What about screw? Girls, we're going to take turns. Number one, boys. Number two, girls. Three boys, four girls, and five boys. Mm -hmm. Girls, what do you think is screw? To join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating so the edge come together. Okay, that's weld. Thank you so much. Now, where are the girls? To attach one surface to another using a screw. Uh -huh. Aha. To attach I one think. surface to another using a screw. Correct. Screw. Three boys, tighten. To turn an object as a screw until it is. Tight and Tight. it cannot be turned anymore. And cannot be turned anymore. So it's very suckated, right? Yeah, that's that's the word that you that we invented today. Okay, so um, so it's very tight, right? So yeah. that's what you do. And adjust, ladies. <laughs> adjust. The first one. This one. This. To move an object slightly so that is it that it, it that it is in 
the right place or is fits better? Okay, it is in the right place or it fits better. Correct. And the last one, obviously, boys, a screw. Somebody wants to read the definition quickly. A pointed, pointed piece, uh -huh. metal with a twisted full part on it, cold street. Correct. Instead uh -huh. of hitting with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wood together. Together. Okay, that's correct. That's a, a screw. Excellent. So uh, you can obviously watch more vocabulary or a video about Henry's Ford assembly line. Okay. Um, using the links that appear below, right? So that's about the vocabulary. You already know this is really easy. Uh, you can take a screenshot in case you want to see the vocabulary later. And as time passes by really fast, really quickly, we are going to move on. Okay, so we're going to take the picture right now before we forget about it. So let's see if everybody's on the camera. Okay, so yeah, it's about time. Okay, now um, remember that you have to try, right? To keep it on as long as possible. I know that in some cases it's difficult because of connection, right? Or you have other things to do like work, but um, let's try to see each other, okay? As much as possible. Let me check. I'm going to, I don't know what I can do to make this lighter, but it's okay. So ready, set, and smile. Don't move, don't move. Perfect, wait, that's a normal picture, not crazy. Um, so this is the picture for Facebook, right? Um, I'm just kidding. And next, we are going to have the crazy picture. So we did it. Week number four is over in September starts. One, two, three. That was not crazy, but it's funnier. Okay, it's a funny picture. So we're almost there. We're almost there, guys. Don't give up. Don't give up. Okay. It's going to start the next model. Huh? When it's going to start the next model. Next module, I have no idea but I can investigate. Okay, so guys, uh, don't forget oh, right, to do not answer any survey about satisfaction, okay? La encuesta de satisfacción que ya les llegó a su correo o a su WhatsApp, esa no la tienen, no tienen que abrir ese link todavía hasta la última sesión, el miércoles 8. Okay, la vamos a completar paso a paso todos juntos. Okay, es un reglamento, okay. un lineamiento de InsoFORP Okay, solo se puede hacer una vez. Por ese motivo les recuerdo ahí que no lo abran todavía. Hay otra encuesta que creo que sí sobre mí, ahí sí la pueden llenar. Okay. okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's all ah. for today. Yes, you can crucify me there. <laughs> My teacher, yes. <laughs> okay, guys, so thank you so much for coming to one more session. Thank It was you. a pleasure to be with you one more time. Have a good Thank night. You. Take care of yourself. Good night, everyone. everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Tomorrow is the trivia, guys. So get ready. Bye. Yeah, tomorrow is the trivia. Oh, my God. Tomorrow, yeah. don't Bye. use Thank Google. You. Google. Bye. Google Bye. Girls. Bye. 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 Google Bye. Girls. Good night, everybody. Okay. Miss Science, you were missing in the picture. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> Why? No, I was just finishing this uh, um, graphic, the diagram. Oh, come on, <laughs> you could have done it later. <laughs> no, because I don't have time. <laughs> oh, easy girl. So maybe you will be in the next picture, okay? In the last, in the last <laughs> Don't <one>. cry. <laughs> you I say will... don't cry, you will be in the next picture. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Ay, Dios mío. So, Miss Science, it's been a long time. Yeah, that's true. A very, very long time. It's but you're that, that... feeling better now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling better, but I'm getting very busy also. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're trying to catch up. I mean, you have to catch up with the with the work that you couldn't do. Uh -huh. mostly it's like there are a lot of work now. Oh, there's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, but it's it's finishing, right? The module is module, finished. Yeah, we're missing just one more week, and that's it. I mean, five days. Just tomorrow, uh, -huh. uh Friday, and three days next week. Uh -huh. oh, okay. So we finish on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I was uh, listening to the, at the beginning of the class that you were talking about one topic that is direct and indirect questions. Indirect uh -huh, and direct questions. Uh -huh. Direct, indirect. Yeah. Okay. What is the concept of that and how can I do to get to catch up them, to catch them? Okay, so uh, well, this actually is the first exercise on the on the platform mm -hmm. uh, from the unit three. Mm -hmm. So um, let me share with you page number twenty-eight. Yeah. So uh, what we were doing here. Okay, so first we start with the conversation, right? Uh -huh, and yeah. in the conversation we saw, right? I wonder if you receive a copy. So that's an indirect question. Mm -hmm, it looks like a sentence, but it's a question. Mm -hmm. So uh, is the equivalent to ask, do you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? So instead mm -hmm. of asking a direct question like that, with that format of a question, you ask um, indirectly and you use a sentence structure in this case. So the structure goes like that. I wonder if, I wonder is the, 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 the phrase that we use. I wonder if, because it's a yes, no question. So we, if mm -hmm. the answer will be yes or no, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if you received. So in this case, the verb is in the past because the question is about an action that already happened, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the original question is, did you receive? So we used mm -hmm. did for the past. So in this case, we cannot use the model verb. I mean, the auxiliary verb for the question. So we affect or we modify the verb. So if the direct question we use did, that is in the past, we are going to change the verb to the past in this case, right? I, mm -hmm. So I wonder if you received a copy. Good. I like mm -hmm. to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. What is the direct question here? Should the quality control step be repeated once the product is finished? That's a direct question. But in this case, the, the, the person is saying, I like to know if the quality step should be repeated once the product is finished. So we use, I like to know, that's the phrase. Mm -hmm. And the other phrase that we have here, but it's a question is, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? I think my dog wants to say hi. So <laughs> um, in that case, okay, we're using, would you mind, would you mind? Uh, it's another way to, to ask politely. Mm -hmm. So for example, if I told you, um, can you give me your phone number? Mm -hmm. So that's a direct question. It's not very polite. But if I tell you, would you mind giving me your phone number, please? Mm -hmm. So um, that changes the tone of the question. Mm -hmm. So this is another type of question. And the last one is, could you find out if the production manager is around? Could you find out if, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 
the simple question would be, is the production manager around? Just like that. Mm -hmm. So there are two, two things that you have to consider uh, when you are making the indirect questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me show you. Uh, okay, wait, I think I closed the document by, by mistake. Uh, it's here. Okay, can you see the bicycle? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going back to... 28. No, to this part. So oh. this is, on, yeah, as you were saying, right? This is on page number 28. So here we have the examples. We have indirect questions when, with phrases and we have indirect questions with uh, a question at the beginning, like, like mm -hmm. a, a part of a question at the beginning, right? Could you find out? Would you mind telling us? Can you tell me, right? Um, mm -hmm. So if we use the phrase at the beginning, we're going to finish the question in, with a period, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it looks like a sentence. Mm -hmm. But if we use a question, we are going to, at the beginning, like an introduction, we're going to finish the question with a question mark. Mm -hmm. What is the difference? Pay attention to the, the order of the word. So that is the other, the element that you have to pay attention to. The word order. Okay, the question word order. Why? Uh, well, these are the questions from the, from the conversation, right? Uh -huh. uh, if I say, where is the park? I am a tourist, right? Where is the park? That's a direct question. Mm -hmm. It follows the normal order for a question. WH question, the auxiliary verb, mm -hmm. the subject. Mm -hmm. Where is the park? And the complement. Sometimes we can use, uh, do you have some change, for example? Do you have some change? So we use the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, have some change that would be a complete mm -hmm. that's those are direct questions now how uh -huh. can i change these two to indirect questions to be more polite mm -hmm. the first one is where is the park mm -hmm. would you mind telling me where so where is in between right the connector mm -hmm. where here comes the change i'm going to use the subject first and then the verb would you mm -hmm. mind telling me where the park is? Mm -hmm. So the first part has a question order, but the rest has a sentence order. So the subject goes before the verb. Okay. Um, and the verb goes at the end, right? So in this case, would you tell me or would you mind telling me where the park is? I can say, could you tell me where the park is? Or can you tell me where the park is? Mm -hmm. um, that would be with a question mark at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, then with the other example that I told you is, what was the other example that I told you? Uh, about the phone number. Phone number, right? What's your phone number? Uh, or can you give me your phone number? I think that's what I told you. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was wondering, or I wonder if you could, or if you can give me your phone number. So if you can, it's not can you, mm -hmm. if you can. So if it's in the middle, because it's a yes, no question, right? Can you give me your phone number? Mm -hmm. Yes or no, right? So yeah. I was, I wonder, or I was wondering, me preguntaba, me estaba preguntando, right, if, si podría darme tu tel, número de teléfono. I was wondering if you could give me your phone number. So in that case, uh, those are indirect questions. They change, there's a modification in the order, okay? And there is a modification in the tone of the question. So they are more polite. And basically those are the, the, Differences between direct and indirect questions. The order of the words and the tone of the question. So
So can I understand, for example, when it's an indirect question, when the question has like two parts, but before the if, there is a, an auxiliary doing a, a question there, but politely, like who would, something like that, politely. And after the if, is the change, it will change the, the order. The order, uh huh. Yeah, the order. And something that is important, as you can see here, is that the helping verbs like do, does, did are not included in the indirect questions. Uh -huh. So if the direct question is, do you live in, in uh, what Japan, for example? Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to use to ask you that indirectly, I am going to eliminate it. Do you, right? So mm -hmm. I can ask you, I wonder if you live in Awachapan. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you live in Awachapan. Or I like to know if you live in Awachapan. Or would you mind telling me if you live in Awachapan? Or could you tell me if you live in Awachapan? So there are many, I mean, you can ask you the same question in different ways with a question, with a sentence, but indirectly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And basically that. Okay, so you have to pay attention to the verbs. For example, uh, let's suppose let's suppose that I ask you about your mom. Uh, uh -huh. Does she live with you? Mm -hmm. Is the the direct question. Now, if I want to ask you indirectly, I can ask you. I like to know if your mother lives with you. Mm -hmm. So I modify the verb and add the letter S mm -hmm. because I am referring to her in the simple present affirmative. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. as we don't have the auxiliary, that's, mm -hmm. I need to modify the verb mm -hmm. to make it appropriate to the sentence, right? To the indirect question. So okay. that is the explanation that I can give you so far, it is something that you need to use. You have to create uh, examples or, or speak right using the examples uh, to understand it better because it's something that you understand right now, but if you don't practice it, you can forget it. It's uh, tricky. Teacher, it's would tricky. you mind if I ask you to do <laughs> the third sentence in the down part? Okay, so in that case, you asked me, a, you asked me an indirect question. Okay, good. Would you mind? To tell me how is the right structure that you have the sentence number three. Okay, in... would you mind telling me? Because would you when you use, would me? you mind? The next verb has to be in ing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Would you oh, mind excellent. telling me? Would you mind asking? Would you mind going to the park with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but really I want to know how is the right uh for the yeah which below one? below number mm -hmm. three ah oh, okay the exercise mm -hmm. here uh -huh. do you know are the schedule and production control forms complete do you know if the schedule and production control forms are complete are complete Ah, okay, just that moves. Yeah, it goes mm -hmm. here after the subject. Mm -hmm. And it is a sentence. The schedule and production control are complete. What makes it an indirect question? The introductory question. Okay, I will try the first one. Okay. Can you tell me if the machine is capable of performing these processes? Correct. Oh, okay. Number two. Number two, uh, I'd like to know if the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce our orders on time. Are we going to use a question mark or a period there? Question mark. Mm, I like to know is that that's a phrase. Mm -hmm. So when we use a phrase, we don't finish with a question mark. 
Oh. So things with a period. So the first part of the sentence will tell you if you will use a question mark or a period. Yes. If it starts with a uh, question structure, you finish mm -hmm. with a question mark. If it starts oh. with a sentence or a phrase, you finish with a period. Oh, I get it now. So yes. it would be, I'd like to know if the manufacturer will buy the new machinery to produce our orders on time. How do you pronounce machinery? Machinery. 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 That's correct. Machinery. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Nice. That's nice then. Okay. I'm glad to know that you got it quickly. That's very good. You explained very well. <laughs> That's why. I try, but you're smart. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> okay. Oh. So, um, do you have any other doubt? No, teacher. That Not about for now. the class, this is the old, yeah. That's okay. All. Well, if you need anything else, you know that you can contact me, right? You can yes, ask teacher. me any question. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you a lot. You're welcome. Have a good night. Uh, you too. Good night, See teacher. You God tomorrow. bless you. God bye -bye. bless you too. Goodbye. Bye.